Don't wear sheer clothing advertising your underclothes. Yeah. That's why it's called underclothes. They are under your clothes. That's right. You don't see nothing wrong with your body parts being advertised in public. Go ahead. And you look at me like I'm saying something criminal because I'm telling you, cover your goods up. This is the number one reason why you can't love Pastor Gino Janice less. And it's equally the same reason why many people have embraced the ministry of Pastor Gino Janice. Pastor Gino Janice condemns those ladies who dresses anyhow and even out of order, whether in church or any other place without giving it a second thought. What is important is when a preacher is very vocal in preaching exactly what the Bible says about the women dressing code without fear. As you watch this video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to put me on You don't see nothing wrong with your body parts being advertised in public? Go ahead. And you look at me like I'm saying something criminal? Because I'm telling you, cover your goods up. Uh, well, my husband want to see it. Then let's show them to him at home. That's right. Let them see your stuff at home. Yeah. Show them all day, show them all night, and show them while you sleep. That's right. But when you come to church, or in public, or go to work, cover that stuff up. Yeah. You ain't a whore, don't look like none. You ain't a pimp, don't look like one. And that you may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean This is and old clean. school church. This is the type of preaching that offends people who don't want to make change. Right. Brother, you can't get mad at someone your wife out there half naked and all the men look, Ooh, oh, look at you, look at you, look at you. And here you getting upset. Hey man, that's, 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 this is my girl. Let me tell you, what, what you getting upset for? That's right. That's right. That's right. You that's getting right. upset. And you don't want to let her out like this? Yeah. Thanksgiving is coming, so dress your turkey. That's right. Um, Amen. Let's just skip that quickly now because the clock is moving. <coughs> In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 9. All chapter right. Nine. And we're down reading at verse 30. Come on, son. And when Jehu was come to Jezreel. When Jehu came to Jezreel. Jezebel heard of it. Jezebel heard of it. And she painted her face. Who painted her? Wait a minute. Who painted their face? Jezebel. Who painted their face? Jezebel. You don't find a holy woman in the Bible wore face paint, which is today called makeup. That's right. God didn't make your lips that color. Why do you? Amen. God didn't make your cheeks that color. Why do you? Yeah. God didn't make your eyebrows like that. Why do you? That's right. What are you teaching, Pastor Jennings? We're teaching all of our women of every race. Love the way God made you. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Holy women don't wear eye brown pencil, eye line, shadow. Don't wear wigs. Yeah. Don't wear fake ponytails. Don't wear hair extensions. Yeah. Don't wear fake nails. Don't wear none of that stuff. Yeah. Holy women don't wear that stuff. That's right. Don't wear splits. Don't wear none of that. Yeah. Don't wear sheer clothing advertising your underclothes. Yeah. That's why it's called underclothes. They are under your clothes. That's right. Huh? Amen. Sometimes women wear a blouse cut down the hair showing their cleavage. And then the brother in church looking, then you want you ready to call him a pervert. <laughs> really? Then why are you advertising your trick or treats? <laughs> why are you advertising your trick or treats? That's right. Do you know it's the nature of a man to look there? That's right. Oh, this is old fashioned holders. Oh, yeah. Old fashioned holders, you find the old mothers with their dresses almost to their ankles. Yeah. And they teach the young women the same thing. Sometimes old women say, huh, I ain't wearing my dresses down to my ankles like an old woman. And you got a singing citizen's car. What else are you? What's the matter with you? That's right. Why would an old woman complain about having a long dress? In fact, you should be getting on these young women. Tell them to close that split up. Go get that dress down longer. So a lot of these young women don't respect you old women because you out there just like them. 
Ankle chains on, fake hair, fingernails all painted up. That's right. And you out there want to be your sister's, your daughter's sister. These young girls need a mother. Amen. You want to be out there shaking your behind with your daughter and she's out there bumming and grinding with her boyfriend and you bumming and grinding with her boyfriend. Amen. Good man. Amen. Amen. Most Christians today who are with much history after the ascension of Jesus to heaven or after the ascension of Jesus to the Father, most Christians today who truly know what the Bible is and understand the history behind the Bible, the persecutions that even the Word of God has faced even up to now and has so much value for Scripture, truly equally understand the sacrifices that even the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ paid to get the gospel across the world, paid to get the gospel across the globe, to get people to know even the Bible today. Most people understand that even at a certain point, some of the disciples usually had to sacrifice their life to defend the gospel that we have today. For instance, if you look at the disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Apostle Peter, Apostle Paul, Apostle James, Barnabas, and the rest of the disciples, you realize that these patriarchs paid a heavy price to keep the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ standing tall today. And so most people even know that in Matthew chapter 28 and the verse 18, where Jesus preached his last sermon on the earth before his ascension to the Father or to heaven, Jesus laid out a heavy principle, a command to the disciples in Matthew 28 verse 19 where Jesus said that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given unto me. Go therefore make disciples of all nations, teaching and baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and again also to command them to observe all these things until the end of the world but behold I am still with you to the world comes to an end. This was a last command that our Lord Jesus Christ gave to the apostles, the disciples who literally fought for the gospel with their life. Some of them were executed because they stood on their ground and fought that the gospel was truly the word of God. Some of them was even fried in a boiled, in a boiled oil just because they stood on their ground believing that the gospel solely is the word of God and is truly inspired by the spirit of God and therefore the Bible is truly the word of God. You see, when you begin to assess all these sacrifices that the apostle made, you will come to a point to acknowledge and appreciate the work and the ministry of Pastor Dinogenes. Even though many people might have concluded on him that this particular minister seems to portray himself as more holy than most of the ministers, but that is truly not the case. He is a minister that is willing to see to it that nobody contaminates the gospel, nobody dilutes the gospel, nobody, you know, compromise the gospel for their own gain or for their own selfish interests. And so to hear him so vocal, so loud, on the issues of women who dresses inappropriate to go to a place of worship or to the house of God, I believe he is truly doing the work of God. Because in the churches today, or in most mega churches today, we know that it is usually women that makes a whole church today. Because in a given mega church today, the number of women that comes to that particular church outweigh, outsmarts, the number of men even more than 20 times and so we know that to to many christians or to many pastors today they hardly speak on the dressing code of certain women because they know that their churches is made by women the number of attention and because most of these ministers are not literally after discipling souls for god's kingdom discipling them for heaven most of them are into numbers most of them are into hype they believe the more 
the number of people in your church, the more anointed you are. They believe the more branches of churches you've got or the more number or millions or thousands of women that attends your church on every given Sunday, the more anointed, gifted you are or have been called by God. And so we have other mega, mega ministers of the gospel today who cannot address the issues of how women dresses today to church and how even most Christians today, especially most Christian women today dresses, whether at their place of work or even whether when they are going about their daily activities. And it is the reason why there is much rampant of sexual immorality in the church today where believers of today are struggling so hard to come out of the addiction of fornication, the addiction of adultery, the addiction of other sexual sins that scripture entirely condemns. And so if Pastor Genogenes make a stand on these kinds of context, it is a good work, it is a good move, and it's a good stand that believers of today must stand solidly with Pastor Genogenes for defending the gospel and making sure that the gospel is never, never, never diluted or compromised by any other person, individuals, interest. That is one of the common crises the church is facing today. In a particular church, you realize that the pastor is suffering to have self-control. The church choir leaders or the church choir practitioners or members are equally suffering from this same kind of issue. There are sisters in the Lord, in the church, who have become addicted to sex and cannot stop. There are brothers, there are elders, there are pastors, there are apostles, there are prophets, there are bishops, there are many other people, whether gospel musicians, who have become addicted to the issue of sexual sins and cannot, you know, get out of this particular situation. And so, Pastor Dinogen is addressing this topic. is very crucial to the growth of the body of Christ. It is very crucial to the body of Christ to learn and mature and come out of deliverance of these kinds of issues because there are churches where other ladies go when they are almost even naked. The dresses they put on in the house of God does not in any way show that these people are truly people that fears God. These people are truly Christians that obey scripture. And it is equally the reason why Christianity is the most persecuted, most abused, most attacked religion in the world today. Now, unlike the Muslims, unlike the Buddhists, unlike the Hare Krishnas, unlike all these other Shintoism, unlike all these other religions, you realize that their women are very submissive to the commands and the traditions of how they should dress and how that religions commands women to dress. But when it comes to Christianity, we are the only group of people that takes all things in the name of modernity or in the name of revelation or in the name of new way or star or in the name of doing away the so-called religion. And so we have sisters in the Lord today who dresses so bad to come to church that it does not in any way glorify the work of God. And it's equally the reason why we are being persecuted around the globe. And so the issues of women with inappropriate dresses coming to church and women with inappropriate dresses, you know, outside there going about their own activities or daily chores of life should be rebuked and should be brought to order. And so in this particular video, everything about what Dino Genesis is saying is in scripture and is within alignment with the word of God. There is agreement with what he is saying and I believe believers around the globe should see eye to that of Pastor Genogenes and then get the word of the Lord going to get people saved. Because what matters is to see to it that people are repenting. What matters is to see to it that people are knowing the Lord. If sisters come to church for so many years and they are not repenting but rather begin to even dress in inappropriate way coming to church, and feeling okay with it. This is a total proof that the church has lost its cause. The church 
has lost its primary purpose. And therefore, we must go back to the place of intercession, to the place of preaching the pure gospel and bringing sisters back to order and bringing them their way, their style of dressing into alignment of scripture because the Bible solely has set out the dressing code for sisters in the law. And so whatever Gino Jenny said in this video was so far brilliant and I believe we must all support what he is saying once or as far as is in alignment with scripture. Now this is about global prayers shared a little view on why this particular video should be pulled, should be liked and equally subscribe to my channel. And this was my biblical take on this. See you again in my next episode. Stay always blessed and anointed.